Grazing in Victoria's Alpine National Park will be phased out, ending a tradition stretching back 170 years. The state government says other parts of the high country will still be available, but outraged mountain cattlemen say it's a snub to country people and to history. James Talia reports. The Brax government is tackling a national icon and is already wearing the flak. Steve Brax will go down in history as the man who killed the man from Snowy River. Since the 2003 bushfires, cattle grazing in the Alpine National Park has been down by 90%. Now, when more than 60 grazing licences expire in the next few months, they won't be renewed, ending a 170-year tradition. This is a, an important decision, a crucial decision to protect Victoria's future. The government claims the area is too environmentally sensitive for grazing to continue. Cattle do damage the uh, Alpine environment very significantly. But the government will continue to allow grazing in state forest in the high country. Licensees shut out today will have the option of grazing their cattle there. They'll also be eligible for transition payments of up to $100,000 to help with the cost of moving their cattle. Excluding cattle from the Alpine National Park does not mean the end of high country grazing. Craig Ingram is the independent MP for the area. His support helped the government into power in 1999 and he's now warning of electoral consequences in the bush. This government got into power on the back of country voters and uh, I think they'll be uh, ready to take out the big sticks uh, the next election. Country Victorians won't forget this, I tell you now. Green groups have applauded the decision, which brings Victoria into line with New South Wales and the ACT and sets up the park for national and possibly world heritage listing. James Talia, National 9 News.